Josephine Nakakande. I'm Ugandan. I'm passionate about women economic empowerment. So I'm here to tell you how your support, donations, and all kinds of support that you've given us have changed lives in Uganda. Before I do all that, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting us. My dear friend, thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you, you are the best in my life. Thank you, may God bless you. The support and donations that you've given us have gone to support the following people. The women, the children, the elderly, and the youth. And these people do not have food, do not have shelter, do not have anywhere to stay. They did go to school and sometimes their children do not go to school. We have supported over 64,582 people since inception in 2007. So the people we serve and the services that we give them are summarized in here. Donations that you have made have greatly changed lives in Uganda. Now, let's look at sustainable farming. Here, we have a component of promoting mushroom growing. And we are producing quality spawn, which has improved on the quality and the quantity of the mushrooms. You can see how this is. And these mushrooms too. As we speak now, over 200 women are involved in commercial mushroom growing and we would like by 2023 to have over 500 women involved in mushroom growing uh, as an income generating and activity. And then we would also like to export. However, even if now it is 200 women involved in mushroom growing, we have over 1,600 women that have been taught since our inception in mushroom growing. And we've also had some people construct houses, get some assets out of mushroom growing. This is one of the demonstration sites, as you can see, constructed using locally available cheap materials and aimed at ensuring that mushroom growing can be done as an income generating activity by rural poor women who do not have anything and who are our target population. We promote planting indigenous trees. Now, it has two nursery beds in southwestern Uganda, each one with a, with a capacity of over 250,000 tree seedlings. This is one of our nursery beds, and in this nursery beds we have or we raise indigenous tree seedlings that include Grivelia, Mahogane, Muvule, Mysopsis or Musizi, Albizia, and Terminalia. So that is how an, our nursery bed looks like we have produced at least 18,720 indigenous tree seedlings that have been planted under the agroforestry methodology look at how beautifully these brevelia trees have grown in these sweet potato gardens we also promote energy saving technologies and here we have the briquettes this has provided employment for the youth it is saving energy and over 345 <laughs> households now are using briquettes. It has provided employment, it is saving energy, it is saving the trees and we use crop residues. These are the briquettes being got from crop residues and those ones you can see on the tray are the briquettes produced. Those are the youth who are employed in making these briquettes. They are those that are employed in collecting crop residues, in marketing, transporting, and the whole briquette value chain. We also promote using energy saving technologies by promoting making fuel saving cook stoves. That's one of the energy saving cook stoves we promote, and we train people to make such energy saving cook stoves. Over 530 households have been supported to use energy saving cook stoves. We have a project that involves contract soya bean growing where we have contract with the two big companies that are involved in soya bean growing and this project has been in place for the last three years and over 3,000 tons 
of soya bean have been produced by the farmers. That's some of the soya bean that was produced by the women. This is one of the trucks that was being dispatched and all this soya bean was produced by the farmers that we've supported. In this project, we also have agroforestry. The soya bean is planted in two trees. This is a garden prepared for planting soya bean and mysopsis or musizi plus grevillea have been planted as you can see. With an increasing population in Uganda, there is decreasing size of land for agriculture production. So it is the beneficiaries to do sustainable farming practices that involve vegetable growing for income. We promote growing vegetables in the smallest space that you can have. So these are some of the vegetable gardens. This one is a garden made in the tire and usually used as a nursery bed. And then we also have this one, which is raised, and these are onions on near the window. At least 200 women are involved in vegetable growing for income currently, and over 3,000 women have been empowered in sustainable vegetable growing for income and food security. Under the microcredit, this one aims at giving the beneficiaries, especially women, initial capital or capital to rejuvenate their business. Now, under the microcredit, meetings are held regularly and some businesses have been established. Here, 52 women have been supported with microcredit uh, to inject into their small businesses. Uh, 26 women have been supported with the 26 piglets and these are being given out on a revolving scheme. And these ones are aiming at targeting over 120 women. Now, under the village scheme currently, we have 18 village saving groups that we have, but over 300 village saving and credit schemes have been made, and they were left after they were sustaining their operations. We also do skills empowerment, uh, These are some of the things in which women are trained. 214 young mothers and girls have been empowered with vocational skills in different activities like hairdressing, tailoring, knitting, and this is how the session goes on. Here they are learning hairdressing, as you can see. One of those is a trainer, as that one is a trainer, and that is a student. And those are some of the training materials that we use. Here, they are learning tailoring, and that one showcases the uniform she has made, and they are learning and enjoying what they are doing. 40% have started their own businesses. 20% uh, of them are employed. We have some that are training others here, and the rest are looking for job opportunities, but involved in different income generating activities. Under education support, constructed a school called San Martino Primary School, and this school has over 380 children that are attending school from class one up to class seven. Welcome to San Martino Primary School. That is class one. This is class two at San Martino. That is class three, and the other upper one is class four. That is the administration block. Those children are coming from physical education. The other one up is class five. This is class six. This is class seven. Our goats shed, and then the water tanks and behind the toilets. These children come to school. They are given porridge at 10 a.m. and lunch at 1. So there, they are lining up to get porridge. So they are being served porridge at 10 a.m. Yeah, they are getting lunch, which is always cornbread plus beans. Since we do not have a dining hall yet, they sit anywhere they feel comfortable. You can see them. Some sit under the tree, others sit in class, wherever they feel comfortable to eat from, that is where they have their meals from. We also have 84 girls uh, or 84 children because we have some few boys that are offered scholarships 
scholastic materials, and 31 of these are in secondary school. Our lovely friends, thank you so much for supporting us go back to school. I'm here with my lovely friends. Thank you so much for buying us these school uniforms. We are so happy to have you. Thank you so much. May God bless you. And 53 of these are in primary school. And we also provide sanitary pads to these girls that are in school. And the girls we are supporting with uh, the scholastic or the scholarships. Yeah, so I must stand the mountain. You raise me up to all the life and be. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. Dear my lovely friends, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving me. I may God bless you. My dear friend, thank you for loving me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. You are the best in my life. Thank you. May God bless you. Lovely friend, thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you so much for loving us. I may God bless you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving us. You are the greatest. I you, you are, are the best. best. <laughs> 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 <laughs>